Now, continuation uh, with our previous uh, image segmentation uh, discussion. Let us see thresholding in image segmentation. So, suppose we have an image FXY which is composed of several light objects on a dark background. Now, the histogram of such an image may look like the following. This is showing two uh, dominant modes. Now, an obvious way to extract object information is to select a threshold T that separate two modes. So suppose several objects with different gray levels with certain background, dark background comprise the image. So an object may be classified as belonging to one object if it lies between some threshold T1 and T2 or second class if it is greater than some threshold T2 or the background if it is less than some T2. So one object is like this, which lie between this 0 and T1, then T1 and T2, and then T2 to the final point. So this is, however, uh, is generally less reliable than single level thresholding. So thresholding may be viewed as an operation that tests against a given function of the form this. T is equal to thresholding T, X, Y, P, X, Y, and F, X, Y. This F, X, Y is our original image, is the gray level uh, of point X, Y. And this PXY is some local property of the point, the average gray level of a neighborhood around XY. So the threshold image is given by this GXY, which is given by one if this original image is greater than T or this is less than or equal to T. So pixels which is labeled as one, this correspond to objects. This pixel which is labeled as one or any other convenient gray level value, this correspond to our object. So when this threshold T depends only on uh, FXY, the threshold is called the global. It is called global threshold. While this T, if it depends on FXY and PXY, then the threshold is termed as local. So if in addition this T depends on spatial co coordinates like XY, the threshold is now termed as dynamic. So three type of uh, thresholds are there. Uh, for example, the local threshold may be used if certain information about the nature of the uh, object in the image is known a priori, if, you, if already aware of the information. While the dynamic threshold may be used in case where the object elimination is somewhat non-uniform. Now the important aspect, first we are going to see this threshold based on boundaries. So the important aspect of the threshold selection is the ability to reliably identify more peaks in a given histogram. So the chances of selecting a good threshold are enhanced if more peaks are tall, narrow, symmetric or and separated by deep valleys. So one approach of improving the histogram shape is to consider only those pixels that lie on or near a boundary between objects and the background. And uh, this an obvious advantage is that the histogram becomes less dependent on the size of the object in the image. So by choosing pixels on or near object boundaries, uh, we are assuming an equal probability of choosing a pixel on the object or boundary. The histogram peaks tend to be made more symmetric. Now using pixels that satisfy some simple measures based on the gradient and Laplacian operators, they tend to deepen the value between histogram peaks. Now determining uh, if a pixel lie on a boundary, we need to compute the gradient and determining what side means background or object or a pixel lies on, we compute the Laplacian. First gradient then Laplacian and using the gradient and Laplacian, a three level image may be formed according to see this uh, say expression. The zero if uh, this del f is less than t plus if it is greater than t and del square f the gradient is greater than t and Laplacian is greater than or equal to zero and minus if gradient is greater than or equal to t and the Laplacian is less than zero uh, where this zero plus and minus are the three distinct gray levels and for a dark object on a light background this sxy is the produced image where all pixel is not on edge they are labeled as zero all picture uh, pixels are on the dark side of an edge are labeled as plus and all pixels on the light side of the edge are labeled as negative and for a light object on a dark background uh, this is taken as 
um, you know otherwise means all pixels not on an edge are labeled as zero all pixels on the dark side of an edge are labeled minus and all pixels on the light side are on the edge are labeled as plus so this was about thresholding in image segmentation thank you